Welcome to this episode of the Metal Verbalizers podcast. I am Johan Verbalizer, and today I have a great new band to recommend, Cruentus. The band that I will verbalize is the extreme metal band called Cruentus from Sweden. The reason why I think it's difficult to really label Krantus with a certain subgenre is because the band's sound is heavily inspired by death metal, black metal and thrash metal. I won't really call them a death metal band and I won't really call them a black thrash or death thrash band either because it feels like it's always missing something. Uh, I would kind of say that Krantus is like... Uh, it, it, it's like a death black thrash metal band, basically. Uh, because you can clearly hear things from all these subgenres in songs such as uh, Nihil Ultra, for example. The history of the band Krentus actually reaches as far back as 1998, uh, which surprised me a lot, actually, uh, considering that their first album was released in 2020. Uh, the explanation to why this is, however, uh, is because shortly after the band was first started in 1998, uh, one of its members left. Uh, this caused the remaining members to stop playing as Corentus as well. Uh, this was the case, however, until 2012, when the band became act- active again. Uh, if the band was officially on hold, or, or if, if it was even disbanded, uh, during this time, or if they just simply didn't release anything or just wasn't active, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, after some more years passing, however, uh, Krentus finally released their debut album uh, in 2020. Uh, as of today, Krentus has released two demos, two full lengths, and a few singles. Something that I took notice of uh, is that I believe that Krentus is one of the very few bands that we have verbalized uh, that have not released a single EP, uh, at least not yet. Uh, Exactly why that is, I don't know, Uh, but it was still something interesting in my opinion. The influences of Krentus reach relatively far, uh, with classic metal influences such as Uh, Metallica and uh, Iron Maiden, Uh, but also influences such as Entombed, Marduk, uh, Hypocrisy and Dismember. Uh, Personally, I can also hear some big uh, influences uh, from a band like Slayer uh, in songs such as uh, Relentless Scorch. Uh, I don't know if this is like an kind of like an intentional thing from Krantus, uh, since they didn't mention Slayer uh, as an influence. Uh, but it was a band that I personally uh, thought of when hearing that song. Especially in certain parts of that song. I, I can definitely hear some Slayer in that. If I would make an attempt at summarizing the overall sound of Krentus to you. Uh, it depends a bit on which one of the band's uh, releases you have heard. Uh, there are people for example. Uh, who have com- compared Krentus' Cre- latest album, Fossilized, uh, to bands such as Entombed and Dismember. Uh, a big reason uh, is most likely because the album's production uh, sounds like a very old school style of production, such as those old death metal albums by bands such as Dismember and Entombed had. Uh, however, Krentus has also been compared with bands such as Ara Noir, or uh, Destruction, Sepultura, uh, Creator, etc. Uh, with these very different opinions of what Krentus and their sound reminds of, uh, I, I, I kind of see that as a further sign of how Krentus really has managed to create a type of, you know, like a mix between death metal, black metal and thrash metal. The image of Krentus is of course very inspired by these bands that I mentioned, as influences to Krentus, but the band is also trying to put their own personal touch on it. Uh, And personally, I believe that they have done a very good job in doing that. Uh, The band has been called Krentus from the start in 1998, 
uh, even though the word has a little bit of different meanings. Uh, I believe that the ban is mainly referring uh, to the term working as uh, a synonym uh, to uh, being bloodthirsty. Uh, the band decided to name their band after this term uh, because they felt that it summarized their vision and, you know, kind of like uh, what type of band they wanted to be like. Uh, I would personally, I would personally guess that this has a lot to do with Krantus, uh, you know, like uh, the band's root in. Uh, death metal and uh, you know how how uh, they're they're very influenced by uh, bands like uh, Entombed and Dismember and and you know th that kind of like old school death metal style. The lyrics uh, in songs written by Krentus generally have a common theme, being uh, the fate of humans and humankind as uh, as a whole, uh, as well as uh, the demise of humans and humankind. Uh, the band is based. Uh, on the, the lyrics of uh, the band is basing their lyrics on their own observations, uh, some of them, uh, and some lyrics are written in a way that is more straight to the point, so to speak, while others are a little bit more uh, vaguely expressed. I suppose you could call it. Uh, Krentus has some really interesting things going on for the future of the band. Uh, one thing is that they are planning to release their latest album, Fossilized, uh, on vinyl. Uh, so for all of you who are collecting vinyls or are looking for a way to support Krannus, uh, I believe that keeping your eyes open for this and uh, buying a vinyl when they are released uh, would be a great way to support Krannus. Uh, in addition to this, Krannus is also hard at work uh, with their third and upcoming album. Uh, I can't tell you when this album is to be expected, unfortunately. Uh, but Krentus has told me that uh, most of the work making the album is already done. Uh, to me, this suggests that uh, we probably will get more information and maybe even a release date very soon. Uh, so I would obviously strongly recommend uh, that you keep your eyes and ears open for this as well. Uh, I know for sure uh, that I definitely will keep my eyes and ears open for this. Having said that, uh, I believe that this is a great way to end the episode. Uh, we at Metal Verbalizers really appreciate uh, that you've been listening to this episode until the end. Uh, if you enjoy this episode, then it would be great if you'd like to give us a follow and help us spread the word. This way you can support both us as a podcast but also the bands that we are verbalizing. We will be back to you next week with more verbalizing.